Hello and welcome back, Quandor. So we are here doing sort of an update on what I did last year or the year before on tips on farming gold fast. Now this is a huge issue for many people, so if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and of course leave the video with a like. So I'm just going to go through some little tips that could help you guys out and of course some locations you can go to. Now I am going to say, if you've seen the previous video, this isn't going to be overly much different. I've updated it ever so slightly, but the truth is, is gold farming is incredibly like XP grinding. There's just no real quick and easy way to get around it. Whether that's for getting Nilgath chocolate for Void High Lord, or indeed the Platinum Token Thing Medal, whatever you want to call it, for Yami no Ronin, then it's just going to be a grindy time for you, I'm afraid. But there are ways you can make it easier. So just a couple of things for members. Make sure you do your daily Wheel of Doom spin. That is 10,000 gold, 20k if you've made sure you go along and get your free daily boost first. If you are a member and you're not getting a daily boost and you're not boosting gold when you're farming for it, that is shocking. So make sure you're doing it because that will save you lots and lots of time. Literally half your time that you're farming gold. Now anyone that is farming, make sure you're using boosting weapons if you have them. Things like the recruitments, but we'll come on to them slightly later. So the first sort of method I wanted to go through was the honor hall method again. This one's often overlooked and for a request that gives you 20k gold, if there's a server boost on, there's 10k ones there as well, 7k, 5k for lower levels, it's really worth going along and doing. Bearing in mind that with a boost, of course, that's 40k gold. I know you have to be higher level, but generally you will be ever so slightly higher if you're doing the harder tier items to get. So I Storm Arena, I've put this in as opposed to Nightmare nowadays because this is actually an incredibly good place to come along and farm. Without any sort of boost you're getting 400 plus gold each time that you're killing something and if you're in there with a group of people grinding it out it will stack up really really quickly and that is the kind of method that I use when I'm out of boosts although that's not very often at all. So the Leary contract, this is still the way that I farm for gold and this is the way I've done it for Void High Lord, and it's the way I'm going to do it for Yami. So of course you turn in your diamonds to get your unidentified 13 and then you can use the unidentified 13 for the Leary contract quest which is 100,000 gold standard. Now you've got to bear in mind that as I'm a member I do fully boost this one up so I'm getting 250k gold per turn in. So if you're a member and you're not doing that method I'd thoroughly recommend and giving it a go. Even free players, if you do have access to uh, getting an unidentified 13 or you've got a couple spare, that could be 200,000 gold for you just like that. So it's definitely worth doing. Now the accruements I was going to talk about. Now of course there's other items, there's capes and all sorts that can boost your XP, gold, rep, class points and everything. But it's worth pointing this out because it's suddenly gone from about 400, high 400 gold here at Ice Storm to 600 a turn in. So that is literally thousands extra when you multiply this up when you think about it you're going to be getting 60,000 gold per 100 monsters you kill per thousand that is going to be 600k obviously now I don't expect you to be here farming for 600k worth of gold because that would be soul destroying but don't worry because if you think about it logically when I was doing void high lord I was always farming for gold last if you're not farming for gold last there is an issue if you're doing yummy and you've got four million gold stacked up right now just buy some of those medals just so you can get some more gold coming in. That is exactly what I'd be doing in that situation. Just make sure, of course, Void High Lord, like I said, do it last because I was finding I was getting the 2 million gold by the time I farmed everything else. So guys, good luck with your farming and thank you very much for watching. Make sure, of course, you leave the video with a like and subscribe and I'll see you all again very soon for the new event.